Hey developers, today we're going to look at Nuxt.js. Nuxt.js is a server-side rendered app. So in the this tutorial, um, we're going to create this iTunes search app. And so with the goal of this here, you can see here the demo running. You're going to be able to put in any artist's name. So let's go ahead and put in like Taylor Swift. And this is going to do a request to the iTunes API, and it's going to return every single album that has Taylor Swift in the name. It's going to pull the thumbnail, it's going to pull the name of the album, and of course the artist name. So you can see here, you see Reputation is a brand new album, 1989, Red, Fearless, and then some of our lesser known tracks. Then uh, you can be able to click this button and refresh it and go back to the search iTunes page. Uh, we can go put, let's put in Eminem. He just had a new album that came out. As you can see, Revival is the first one in here. These are also links to each one of the albums. So if I click on it, it opens up in a new tab and it opens up the iTunes store. So it's a fairly simple app, but it, the devil is in the details, of course. So this app is using server side rendering. We're actually, instead of using the client side to do the HTTP request to the iTunes API, we're actually doing it on the server side. So the purpose of this tutorial is to go over how to create this app. We're going to go over a lot of different parts of Nuxt. We're going to look at middleware. We're going to look at how to interact with the server side. We're going to use a couple of different plugins and uh, plugins. So we're going to use Vuetify to do this nice taskbar toolbar at the top to do these cards. This is all going to be in in Vuetify. We're going to use Axios, which is an HTTP client to do our HTTP requests. So we're going to look at a lot of different things. And also, we're going to look at the end at Vuex. So we're going to see how we can access the Vuex store from the server side, and also how we can access Vue access it on the client side. So there's a lot going on here. So to begin, we're going to start with something very simple, and we're going to look at this video. Um, will be on how to set this up, and then in the next videos, we're going to kind of slowly go through uh, all these different parts. But we, I want to make sure that you guys understand this first. And this really tutorial is for anyone that uh, you don't really have to have any Nux knowledge at all. So I'm going to try to walk through with you guys how to get this all set up and give you some resources of where to go. And you really don't need to know a ton of Vue.js either. So if you aren't familiar with Vue.js, you know, stay by, stick by to the end of the video. I think you guys will learn a lot. I'll go over the concepts of Vue.js and how it relates to Nuxt. So without further ado, let's start with the installation. So if you look here, and I'm going to bring up the Nuxt website. If you go to nuxtjs.org, you can see here in the right-hand side, the installation and there's a couple ways to install Nuxt and like I said it's a server-side rendered app and it's, it comes with uh, you can actually use it uh, installed it as an NPM module you can use it to create gener uh, static sites but you can also create server-side rendered sites server-side rendered sites as well so we're gonna look at the SSR part now uh, the most common way of doing it and what will work best for this tutorial is we're gonna use the starter pack so you can either download the zip or you can install it. So uh, without saying you, you do need to have Node installed to use Nuxt, so make sure you have Node installed. And once you install Node, you'll have NPM. If you don't know how to install Node, I would go to nodejs.org or use something called NVM. You might want to Google that. So this we won't go into that here. We'll just assume that you have Node installed on your computer. Once you have Node installed, you can do NPM install TACG view CLI. So I have down here, already have the server running, but it would be basically npm install taxg view CLI. I already have it installed. And then once you have it installed, you can start with the starter pack. Now, um, I won't get into it, but you don't have to use the starter pack. There are ways to just install and uh, install Nuxt. You can see here, you can just use the package J JSON file and do npm install tac tac save Nuxt. Um, I know you can run that, and there's some tutorials out there with using it with Feather.js, but really, this is a really nice way to start it because it has all the directories, has everything you need to get started. So once you install no, uh, Vue CLI, you can use this option, and I'll write it here. 
which is view init nuxt dash community slash starter dash template and then you put in the project name so in my case I already made it but it was my iTunes search and by the way I just created this right before we started here so this is this is a fresh install I haven't made any changes to it you hit enter here and it would go ahead you can't see the end of it because the screens not big enough but basically says search there and it would go ahead and install everything you need there but instead of doing that what we're going to do is we want to go ahead and add in a couple of dependencies to this application and I mentioned it earlier so the two we want is Axios and Beautify so let's do Axios first so that's pretty easy so do npm install we'll do dash dash save dash dev of course you can do this with yarn too if you have it and then we'll name it Axios so we'll hit enter there and then install Axios and it's a development dependency and then we also will want to uh, install Beautify so we'll do if you can look here if you go to the Beautify website and if you don't know what Beautify it's a material design spec kind of uh, framework for design it has a lot of cool components and features um, you can do a lot of cool uh, design with it um, you can make those nice cards we saw earlier so if you go to the Beautify quick start guide it tells you a little bit of uh, how to do this so we'll we'll just go quickly through it I'm gonna do npm install Beautify or yarn ads install Beautify but we'll just go npm install that tac tac save dev Beautify and that will install it and it should just take one second And then after it's installed, uh, installed, then we need to configure it. So to add the dependencies, since we actually added Axios, we can import that into any of our view components. But we're not going to, to probably a better way to do it so it doesn't get duplicated everywhere is we can go to the nuxconfig.js file. And this is the file that you can do all your configurations. You actually can put in the title of your app that will show up on every page. So you can say my iTunes search iTunes search program you can actually override this per page but for now you can see this will show up in every page this is your viewports your metas links here's something at the bottom it's this extend one thing I like to do especially when I'm just um, testing out view is I like to take this whole this whole block here and I try to get rid of it because I really don't like it. So what this does is it does this linting on every single file when we save it. And I don't like that because I don't like to ad adhere to the linting rules that are coming in the starter pack. So if you just comment this out, you no longer have to worry about that. And we'll save it. So what we need to do to add in to, to add in what we need here is we'll go ahead and add in a plugin. So above loading here, we'll add something called plugins. And so there's two ways to, there's quite a few ways to add dependencies to Nuxt. One of them is to add it in as plugins. If you go to the official documentation on their site, you could, there's a whole section on plugins and how to add them in. Um, by the way, here's dash dash save Axios that we just did and it tells you how to use Axios and then if you use plugins it tells you that inside the Nux config file you have to put in the location of the plugin add Beautify to the plugins because that's what we want to do here and we'll do this plug so we're gonna create a plugins for Beautify Um, we're going to create a file for this plugins, which will help us out. And then we're also under the vendor under build. We're going to create something called vendor, and we're going to add Axios here, and we're going to add in Beautify. And so what this build is is going to say is that when we build it, make sure this Axios library is included, 
and that it doesn't get duplicated everywhere, and same thing with Vutify. And then for plugins, we'll use uh, Vutify as a plugin here. And we're gonna do one more thing. Make sure I have everything. Okay, one thing we also wanna do is we're gonna add in some fonts. All our fonts will show up for our Vutify. So if you look right here, this we're gonna adding a style sheet, fonts, Google API, material icons. This is exactly what we need. We're gonna save it, and now we're going to go in and add our plugin. So we're gonna go plugin. We're gonna new file. We're gonna call it Vutify.js, and this is really all inside the instructions on the Vutify website. So I'm not doing anything special here. So we're gonna import Vutify here, and let's go back to the config file. So under plugins, we're going to add CSS, and we're going to add in assets slash app dot style, and then in here we're going to make sure we install a couple more dependencies. We're going to install the style loader. We're going to install Stylus and stylus loader and this is all because of what we had to add in for that CSS and make sure I have another L here okay so it looks like we got all our dependencies installed and now we just need to see if everything works correctly so actually one more thing we'll need to do here we mentioned this apps.style we're gonna make a new file we're gonna call it app.style and I'm going to copy and paste all this into it from another screen here. And what this is telling us is we're going to require the Vutify colors. We can set the primary colors for all our different boxes. And then we're also going to import the styling. So we need all this so all our styling works correctly. So now we're going to npm run dev. And that should start the server. Okay, now it's running. You can see here we got the Next.js project open here. And now let's see if our Vutify is working. So we're going to, so there is this layouts folder. And this is kind of like a high, higher level component. This is going to be something that every, every page um, uses. So we can add things into this, into this default here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add something called a toolbar. And this is going to be a component I'm going to create that will have everything we need for the toolbar that will show up at the top of every page. But to add a toolbar inside our default here, this is just like a normal component, we'll actually have to import it in. So we'll go script here. We're going to import, and we're going to create this file in a second. We're going to import toolbar from components toolbar.view. And then we're going to export. And we're going to actually make sure it's not inside the style tag. Export default. And this is just the normal way we do um, if you're familiar with Vue.js. This is a normal way we create view components. We're going to do components and then we're going to have to talk, tell it about it. Toolbar. We're going to save that. Of course there's no toolbar yet so we get an error. So we're going to go into our components. We're going to create a new file called toolbar.view and then inside toolbar.view we're going to, I'm just going to copy and paste some code I've already created and then I'll explain it to you. Okay, so we're using, we're going to have to put, uh, so we're using every time you create a component, you have to have this opening and closing template if you have a template in it. And then we're using something called v toolbar. This is a part of Vutify. We're going to put the dark color blue, that's the color of the toolbar. 
We're going to create some side icons. We're going to call it iTunes Search. We're going to create a refresh icon. And then we're going to do some really quick scoped style. So if you put a style at the bottom, this only affects this component. It's scoped for this component. And we're going to make the title at the top. We're going to remove the decoration from it. And we're going to create keep the uh, visited color as white if someone clicks on it. All right, there it is. So we just had to refresh it again. You can see the iTunes search as at the top, just like we expect. It doesn't really do anything right now, but we can see that it's working. So this is the first part. I will go into the next part soon. If you like these type of videos, click that like button and tell me below what you guys think of Nux.js. Thanks.